Hey students, welcome back to art class. I'm doing so much better, so I hope you guys weren't too concerned. I feel better and let's get started. All right, so our artist of the week is Romer Bearden. He was born in 1911 and died in 1988. He was an American artist, a songwriter, author, and he actually joined the army during World War II. So I think it's important to say that a lot of his artwork was influenced by his impact from the war. He worked as a social worker in New York and painted during his free time. He was also a paid cartoonist, which I thought was pretty cool for an African American newspaper in Baltimore. And his artwork was influenced by Mexican muralists. So if you can see his artwork on the bottom here, the Jammin' at the Savoy painted in 1980 using mixed medium. So it's colored etching with aqua tint and a little bit of painting. Um, you can see how the bodies are big and big shapes, which is um, his influence from these Amer Mexican muralists. A lot of his artwork was oil painting, collages, cartoon, printmaking, and so much more. There was a quote that he said, which I thought was worth repeating, said, you should always respect what you are and your culture, because if your art is going to mean anything, that is where it comes from. So I think it's important for all of us to remember where we come from, who we are, and be proud of it. So be proud of who you are and your culture. It represents you. So for today, you're going to need plain white paper, pencil, eraser, and a ruler. Our artwork is going to be inspired by Romare Bearden. It's a drawing that I found online. So it's going to be with big shapes, big body. That's what we're going to draw. So first, we're going to cut our paper in four. Not actually cut our paper. We're using a pencil. You're going to draw a horizontal line and a vertical line, the middle of the paper. And on the bottom right, you're going to start with the bottom part of your big guitar. Okay, once we did that part, once we added the rectangles, we're going to add the strings to the top of the paper. Again, I'm just going to go through each slide. So I don't want you to feel rushed, watch the video, and then go back and do it on your own time. Okay, then you're going to draw the big shape of the guitar. And then once you're done with the big part of the guitar, you're gonna add the smaller details inside. That's when we're gonna begin to add our big body, right? Our big human, so his big shoulders, and that's gonna go right behind the guitar. You're gonna add his legs, then we're gonna add his arms, eventually his face with his necktie, and then the hands on the guitar. And then we're going to add um, his last his last hand, which goes behind the guitar, which he is holding. So this is going to be our first part, and it's going to be a two-part video. So next week, we're going to work on coloring. So make sure you keep your artwork in a safe place. So store it in a good place. That way, for next week, you guys are ready to begin coloring. So next week, you're going to need your medium. So crayons, color pencils, markers, or paint. If you want to work with paint, pastels, anything like that is what you're going to need for next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed your video this week. Hope you guys are, have a great, are having a great day, and I see everybody next week. Bye.